Hello Booktube! Today for Tag Tuesday, I'm going to be doing the Charlie Birthday Book Tag. Um, this tag is in honor of um, Charlie Heathcote, who um, is a booktuber and who just recently celebrated his 30th birthday. Congratulations, Charlie! And was created by his friend Charlie Booker. Oh no, Charlie Brook. And I'll leave links to both um, Charlie Heathcote's channel, um, Charlie Brooks original video, as well as Brian of Bookish's uh, video, which is where I'm getting this um, tag from. Uh, prompt number one. Charlie is the name of the game. Which is your favorite book either by a Charles, Charlie, or featuring a Charles or a Charlie? Um, for this prompt, there can really only be one answer for me, and that is Peanuts by Charles M. Schultz, whose main protagonist is a young boy named Charlie Brown. Um, I've, that's one of the greatest um, comic strips um, of all time, and I adore it, even though I haven't read it in for so long. I really need to make an effort to co collect some of the little comic strip um, collections. But anyway, moving on to prompt number two, Our Doris, a book you loved featuring a protagonist over 50. Uh, for this, I'm going to go with Nemesis by Agatha Christie. Nemesis is the penultimate uh, Miss Marple novel. Miss Marple is one of Agatha Christie's two great uh, creations. Uh, she is an elderly spinster who has a sharp intellect and a penchant for solving mysteries that find um, the police befuddled. Um, she features in 12 novels and a number of short stories and um, I adore the Miss Marple novels. And I went with the Nemesis in a way because this novel is particularly about aging. Um, Miss Marple uh, feels her age in this novel um, as well as um, recognition that a lot of her friends are dying, are passing on, and um, the sort of impetus for uh, the mystery is that Miss Marple has been left a legacy, an inheritance, from a man she met in a previous novel, um, Mr. Raphael. Uh, she has to solve a crime, a murder, um, in order to get the inheritance, and she goes on a a uh, bus tour of um, stately homes in England. So, you know, it's, I've only read the novel once, but I quite enjoyed it. So, I'm going to go with this one I, instead of some of my usual Miss Marple picks. Uh, prompt number three: An heir to murder. A five, a favorite crime or mystery book. Uh, I'm going to stick with Agatha Christie and go with A Death on the Nile. Um, this is an Hercule Poirot mystery, and it features Poirot on vacation in Egypt, where, as so often happens, and probably has got to be in, I mean, it probably does while away the time and gives him something to do, but he also kind of has to be a bit infuriated that he, it's like he cannot get away from murder. But anyway, so Poirot's on vacation, and he ends up getting involved in a love triangle, not himself personally, but there's a sort of a love triangle going on. An incredibly wealthy young woman has married her estate manager who left um, his fiance for his employer. And it turns eventually to murder and then more murders. And it's one of my favorite Agatha Christie novels. Uh, prompt number four, Chocolat. A book by one of your favorite authors. For this, I'm going to go with um, If Then by Joe Lepore. Um, I've only recently 
within the last two years discovered discovered Joe Lepore's work. Um, she's an American historian. She's written um, a number of amazing um, histories and biographies, including These Truths, which is a history of the United States, as well. It's also the Secret History of Wonder Woman, which is a biography of uh, Wonder Woman's creator, as well as um, the two important women in his life. And also If Then, which is a history of the Simulomatics Corporation. Uh, they were a consulting company from the 50s and 60s who um, basically uh, sold themselves as being able to predict the future, to predict what um, consumers, um, voters would be interested in and that sort of thing. Basically, um, the Simulmatics Corporation uh, presaged the algorithm. And it's a very fascinating book. I really enjoyed it, as I have enjoyed all of Joe Lepore's work that I've read. Um, prompt number five, reading is fundamental. A book you think everyone should read. I want to echo um, Brian's comp um, argument that... Yeah, that's... I mean, saying a book, everyone should read a specific book is a bit iffy, but in the spirit of the prompt, I would go with, um, hmm, let's see here, I, yeah, yikes, okay, so, what do I think everyone should read? Uh, Our Town by Thornton Wilder. It's an American play. Um, it's about a small town at the turn of the, from the 19th of the 20th century. And it is an amazing play. It's been so long since I've read it. And um, I think everybody should read it. Even though I think most American school kids probably do read it at some point or another, but I think it is definitely really to read. And sorry for that long pause as I thought of it. Um, prop number six, The TARDIS. A book you wish you could go back in time and tell yourself to stay, for, stay away from. Oh, there are so many, but I think I would probably warn myself off of a uh, dry line by Felice Picano. It is the worst science fiction novel I have ever read and actually finished. It's a space opera that's a more or less I I want to say it's a parody. It's about um humanity and it's a part of a sort of a three species sort of alliance called the matriarchy and there's a robot rebellion and the robots have essentially created a biological weapon that renders women infertile but there's a way around that that's the focus of the um sort of the quest and it is just it's a horrible horrible novel just it's bad and so i wish i I would tell myself not to read it. Read it. Go buy another book. Not that one. Uh, prompt number seven. Victoria. Wow. No, Victoria Wood. A book that made you laugh. Um, for this, I'm going to go with... Um, I think Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. It's an heroic fantasy about, um, an epic fantasy about um, a group of mercenaries who who are long past their prime and are very reminiscent of um, rock bands from our world. Um, the sort of conceit of um, 
Nicholas Eames' um, so far duology is that mercenaries who are sort of a common feature in fantasy fiction are would be for a fantasy world what a rock bands would be for our world. And even sort of some of the pop uh, critical sort of attention is sort of couched in those terms. The five-man band, basically. And so the former members of this uh, one famous mercenary band uh, reunite to save uh, their leader's um, daughter, who's become a mercenary herself, and she's gone off to fight in a far distant city against a horde of monsters. So to rescue her, he gets the band back together, and they have a number of adventures to go rescue her, and it's it's a rollicking fun adventure. Uh, prompt number eight, So Sally, a book featuring your favorite pet or animal. For this, I'm going to go with Scorpion by Louise Pryke. Uh, Scorpion is part of the Reaction Animal series. There are a series of um, sh very short um, looks at various animals um, that I've fallen in love with over the past year. Um, the books feature sort of bi biological information, um, historical information, particularly the study, the history of the study of these animals, um, the animal in question's relationship with humans, both um, um, economically as well as um, culturally, artistically. It's just, it's a very fascinating series and Scorpion was the first one I read and I absolutely adore it. Uh, final, no, oh, okay, so prompt number nine, un libro che amo ancora. Sorry if I butchered that. Either a favorite translated book or a translated book you want to read. Um, hmm. For this, I'm going to go with um, Full Metal Alchemist by Hiromu Arakawa. Full Metal Alchemist is a Manga series, it's one of the most famous manga of the last uh, 20 years. It's about uh, two brothers, Edward and Alphonse Elric, who are alchemists. Um, in order to resurrect their mother, um, they perform a forbidden alchemical ritual, which um, fails and rebounds on them. Um, Edward loses an arm. No, Edward, no, he loses his leg. Edward loses his leg, and Alphonse loses his body. To save Alphonse's life, um, Edward sacrifices his arm to inscribe Alphonse's soul onto a suit of armor. Um, after this tragedy, Edward joins the state military as a state alchemist, and he and his brother... Uh, travel throughout their homeland of Amestris looking for um, the Philosopher's Stone, a an alchemical artifact reputed to be able to bypass the law of equivalent exchange and would be able to give the brothers back their missing limbs. As the brothers travel, they uncover an ancient conspiracy that is threatens not only that threatens um, their country, and also sees both brothers as well as a number of their allies as important ingredients in the ultimate ritual. Um, I adore Full Metal Alchemist, and I'm planning on doing a massive um, reading of the entire series uh, in September, which I'm looking forward to. And finally, prompt number 10, Age UK. A charity shop book bargain uh, you adored. I don't, well, I did pick up an anthology of um, Greek uh, plays from a charity shop uh, ages ago. That I guess I could point to. I don't quite remember what the exact price was. Um, I think there's that. Um, and also, I picked up, um, I think, a few volumes of 
Magi the Labyrinth of Magic from a charity shop in California. Not me personally going. I um, bought it through a Libras, which I was quite pleased with. But, um, yeah, I don't really shop with charity shops all that often. Or, generally, the books they have um, don't really impress me all that much. Um, my tastes tend to be more... Um, like say history, uh, more academic. Um, so, but yeah, I would go with, um, I think it's volumes three and four. And yeah, I think it was three and four that I picked up from a charity shop in California. And I'll go with the Hades, um, anthology of Greek drama. So anyway, so that was uh, the Charlie birthday book tag. Um, if you would like to do this tag and wish Charlie happy birthday, consider yourselves tagged. And also do check out um, both Charlie's channels, which I will do as I upload this video. So in a booktube, that's all I've got for today. Thank you. Have a great um, afternoon. And I will hopefully see you tomorrow with another video. So until then, thank you and stay safe.